Welcome back to DA Griffin Hobby. My name's Dave. Today, I wanted to work on uh, this bridge here. As you may know, I've been struggling with what bridge to use there. I wanted a particular type of bridge there, but hadn't found one. So I started out thinking I was gonna use a bridge like this, uh, then to a longer bridge that I picked up at York, and then I found the arch under bridge that I had been looking for. I found that at First Frost in Allentown. So I moved that one out of there and fit that one in there. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so now that I've done it this way and carved out this whole section of my pre-existing wall and this sits here sort of the way I wanted it to, I'm not sure I like it. Uh, I'm not sure what else I would do differently at the moment. So I'm probably just gonna keep picking on it. I'll contour it all, but I didn't want to take down the front and the back sides until I had a better idea of where the bridge stood because I want the bridge, you know, to go into the scenery, not stand out apart from it. Being that this is a shallow spot, I didn't want to make it look any more shallow than I have to. Uh, and this is so far one of the drawbacks I have found to making the table three feet deep so that I can reach everything is that I really don't have enough depth on the table to do all the things I want to do. So while this isn't perfect, uh, not done by a long shot, it's kind of what I was thinking. So I'm going to go ahead and cut into the other side and then see what it looks like across the span. Okay, so I did a little more hacking on this one instead of just cutting because I was frankly getting bored with it. Um, you see here I've got some loose pieces, but that's okay, I can resecure those. If we put this back in place. Okay, obviously some additional work is required. Uh, plenty of carving, shaping, and everything else. So, right off the bat, I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, this is definitely more towards what I was thinking for the look. Uh, put one of these back here to get an idea. I, don't, I still don't know about the bridge in the back, but uh, I really like the arch under. Maybe with that, I'll feel better about just doing a Lionel girder bridge in the back, but I'm kind of liking this. And it needs to be you know, shimmed up here a little bit and probably down a little bit here and I need to carve into these walls a little better and then decide if I'm putting a road through here or a stream or both. But I'm definitely liking this bridge as opposed to one of the bigger bridges. I feel I, I felt like the height was just too much. It stood too vertical. It didn't feel right. I think this is going to end up looking pretty darn good. Okay, I've done 
done a little more carving and fit some pieces back in here to take up that space that I carved out to fit the bridge in. Um, I was looking at pictures of arch under bridges to kind of get a feel for what I wanted it to look like. And I carved down the, the walls on both sides a bit more. Uh, I still have more space I can carve into, uh, but I figured as I went forward and added detail, that would carve back some space anyway. Uh, but just for a little bit of time, trying to sneak this bridge in here and seeing what it looks like, I'm very happy with the results. Uh, I like the fact that the height of the bridge does not go above the height of the track. The proportions just look better. I didn't want that section of layout to look any taller than it needed to look. Maybe this will encourage me to get the upper loop working and put some more effort into it. So I started the installation of this arch under bridge shortly after I got it, and I knew basically how I wanted it to look, but wasn't really ready to commit to it. So I kind of did a minimum install of it, and then let it sit for a while, ran some trains, um, looked at it from different angles to try to see what I wanted to change and how I wanted to go with it. And to a degree, I needed to decide what I was going to do behind it. Uh, and that's the bridge on the back there. I had to really kind of figure out where this valley or whatever the gully was going to go. Uh, so once I, I figured out where I wanted that bridge in the back, I felt more comfortable digging in here. And this is one of the things I love about the foam is that I'm completely free to just dig into it. Uh, I'm not limited by a thin layer of plaster or wire or anything like that. I can just keep digging. And if I don't like the shape, I can just keep going. And worst case scenario, I mess it up. I can just chop a piece of the foam off and glue a new piece on and keep going. So it really works well for the way that my creative process works. Uh, I can totally understand it might not work for other people, but it, it just really works for me. Now that I have the arch under bridge and the bridge behind it kind of set, I can hopefully continue working on this upper loop and maybe get it functioning. That's the plan anyway.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time on DA Griffin Hobby.